good day everyone welcome to my youtube channel tutorial your daily today we are going to be looking at this drawing this is what you want to draw now this is an oblique drawing it starts at 90 degree to 45 degree angle so we'll be looking at this drawing and we'll be drawing it in the ratio 2 to 1 so what is ratio 2 to 1 anywhere we'll see a particular um dimension we are going to be multiplying it by two that we want to enlarge it okay now let's go with the join now let's start we first rule a reference line now this is my reference line here i take this measurement 5 20 and 5 so in the ratio 2 to 1 my 5 will be will be 10 in this middle I have 20 if I multiply by 2 that's 40 then I will turn again now this is my 10 this is my 40 this is my 10 I get a line going straight up Now on this line, we are going to measure, you see this distance here is 10. So, in the ratio 2 to 1, we are going to be measuring 20. Okay, we just close the tops. Alright, so I said this angle here is 45 degree and not 30 degree. So these are 45 degree set square. So we place it like this. Or anyhow you feel to place it. We generate the line this way. You can see that this edge is going like that. This edge is following. This edge is following. This edge. This edge. So we just do everything at once. Without wasting time. Okay, we have all the lines, so we just take our measurement. We see that here is 30 in the ratio 2 to 1, that's 30 times 2, which is 60. So we just need to board the 60, that's my 60. If you see the measurement here is, it should be 10, that's 10. So if we are going to remove 10 from 30, that will we'll be left with 20, and 20 times 2 will give us 40. So the distance from here to here is 40. So let's rule the 40. Now, this is my 40, and you can see that here, if, if we divide 40 into so that's 20, the rest will be 20. So here to here is 20 can see that so here to here also is 20 so we can join the 20 together you see 
see that okay since you see that here to here is 10 so that's why 10 times 2 is 20 that's why here is 20 and here is 20 so if we go 20 for me for me also then we can join this together okay then with our c square we go to that point then we will the straight line to make this point so okay left with this distance here we said here is 40 so here also is 40 let's rule our 40 then so that's my 40 we see that the line is connected together we join this edge and this edge together okay so what's left we see lines going up this line this line so let's bring all this line up and this edge too okay remember we are using our 45 degree c square for orthographic drawing now we have those lines now here is 30 30 times 2 that's 60 That's my 60. Since from here to here is 10, given here, we know that's 20. That's when we are drawing into the show, and that's 20. So when we minus 20 away from here, the rest is 40. So the distance here should be 40. Okay, and same here, 40. So let us give a faint line to join this together with a construction line. All right, we can join there together. We can do something like this. All right. Now to get a straight line coming like this, we take our T square up to that point. Make sure it's touching the point, then you will leave construction line again. All right, so we see that the distance here is telling us that it's five. So when we say five times two, that should be ten. Okay, let's measure our 10 millimeter, which is one centimeter. Okay, that's ten. this system so we can join them together all right we are through with that side now we measure 10 here also that's this 10 okay so how do we get this line going like this? Remember, we are drawing at angle 45 degree. So we we'll bring our 45 degree C square. Then you see, we can then board the line. Okay. So coming like this also, we measure 10. And then we can join them together okay we're almost done now you, if you look at this you can see that this is in the middle so we need to get the middle of this 
and remember it is 60 so if we what, what will be the middle of 60 that's 30 which is 3 centimeter let's just mark it all right let's get a straight line with our 45 degree on that point don't mark or uh, with our 90 degree now I don't know if you are seeing the line. The line is perfectly. Let me bold it a little. Okay. So on that line, we are going to measure 15 downwards. As you can see here, we measure 15 downwards. Okay. Which is in 2 ratio 1, that's 30. Sorry, I'm not supposed to rule the line. I'm not supposed to rule the line, but okay. I mark the 30 here. So I just join from this edge. To the 30. And I join from this edge. To the 30. Now, what's remaining? Remain this line here. How do we get the line? We need to put our 45 degree. Can just put it at, the, at any point. At any point. Let me use this point. Just a faint line. Then remember that the distance here is 20. So on that line that I just on that construction line that I just would, I'm going to measure 20 and put a point so I can join from this edge and the point downward. Sorry. So that's the line. As you can see, we are through with the drawing. You are only left to give it dimension. I remember when you dimension, your dimension should be at least one centimeter away from the drawing when you are dimensioning. Thank you. Make sure you subscribe and share to other people. Thank you.